Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Uh, thank you so much uh, for subscribing to my channel, liking, uh, sharing, commenting. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the collective of Twin Flames and Soulmates. Uh, so this may not resonate uh, with everyone. I do offer personal readings. That information is below and the link to my site, intuitiveenvisions.com is there as well. If you want me to look into your personal situation. Okay, so when I refer to energies um, or when I'm referring to divine masculine or divine feminine, I'm referring to energies, not a specific gender. So it can be vice versa. You could be a divine masculine and be a female. And I do use terms like you, he, she, uh, that person. Um, just, you know, apply it how it resonates. Okay, so I'm doing a, a, a topic today where we're going to um, find out is what is the universe um, and your angels, your spirit guides conspiring um, in your favor to uh, bring forth this connection between you and your uh soulmate or your twin flame so this is positive things that they're doing to try to bring you guys together all right so i'm going to go ahead and get the general theme behind this message i'm using the kipper cards it's going to be the general theme of this topic The privileged lady okay <laughs> so this could be you or this could be um, divine masculine could be in this energy but this is generally about a woman who um, you know is you know take care of herself um, she cares about things she's um, wealthy so this could be someone maybe you're not rich in money but you're rich in other things and your values and things around you but she's um, you know, like I said, she's she's not really wanting for anything. She has everything that she needs. Okay, so whether she's very rich or she just has everything that um, she needs. So this is, um, could be you. This could be the divine uh, feminine. Um, so this could be what the theme is of what the universe and the spirit guides are conspiring to take place is either this could be a divine feminine or this could be the karmic um, we'll see once i get the rest of the cards around it so at the bottom you have the main female so okay so there's definitely two um uh, women in this situation okay so we're gonna have to find out um which is which with the cards around it um but i feel like this is um you know this these two people could be the same or they could be different I feel like right now they're they're different people this could be divine feminine and that could be the karmic um so this is usually the main uh this would be the divine feminine for the the divine masculine in the cart with the the main uh, male okay so but right now i'm feeling like this is the divine feminine and this is probably the karmic so let's see what's going on here let's get the other energies so the universe could be conspiring to get rid of the karmic um right off the bat that could be what's going on here these are the moonology cards don't let your past hold you back self note okay i'm going to read from the book really quick what that means i mean i know it says don't let your past hold you back and that means releasing things so maybe they're getting the past out of the way which is making me more think about the fact that that could be the divine um i mean the karmic so let me see self node just gotta look in this book really quick find out where it's at okay page 114 all right don't let your past hold you back the self note like the north note is a karmic point okay there he is i mean that's really all i needed to hear right there that's the karmic so um the the spirit guides and um the universe is 
in your favor getting rid of the karmic so this could also represent um i don't even need to read further i'm not gonna because that first sentence did it for me um this is saying um that they're in your favor they're releasing anything karmic you know karmic ties these could be people these could be relationships this could be work situations so it doesn't necessarily have to be people in a third party situation with a person it could be just whatever is blocking the connection so the universe is conspiring to get rid of this karmic energy that's really good okay now let's see what else we got here i'm using the romance angel cards now Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So um, they could be getting other people involved in the situation to help out. Um, divine masculine or divine feminine um, could be seeking um, help from other people. This could also be your angels, um, uh, spirit guides, and they could be all in this, you know, helping to you know release you from this karmic situation in the bottom make the effort great love is worth taking the step you're guided to take so they also could be urging the divine masculine to make an effort you know making them remember these fond memories that they have um, with the divine feminine and they could be you know whispering in the ear um, it's kind of like I see them cuddle like even though he's not turned exactly to her ear, but that's just kind of what I picked up. Okay, just messages that um, are coming through. And even look at the bottom of this moon card. Let me just see. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, so this could involve um, a Pisces. Doesn't necessarily mean so, but it could. Um, this, this, um, the universe is um, conspiring to bring balance and spirituality truth you know like real things and base it on those type of decisions and not uh, karmic type of energy all right so let's go ahead and get some other cards um, about what the universe is conspiring in your favor in this connection I'm using the gilded tarot cards right now and if I need to clarify I'll use Celtic I don't really plan on it but if I need to, I will. What else is the universe conspiring in your favor in this connection? Five of Cups. Okay, so the Five of Cups is um, a sorrowful energy. So they're conspiring um, to make people come forth, uh, deal with their emotions, and apologize for any wrongs that they've done. So they're urging that. The Emperor. This is the Divine Masculine, okay? So Divine Masculine is kind of showing up here too. Um, he's a part of the universe as well. Um, they're urging the Divine Masculine to take control, to step in his power. Um, and maybe um, apologize, but they're urging him to step into the role that he was meant to be. These um, could be dealing with an Aries, the Aries present. It's more important about the message than the signs. I don't know if I've said that the last few videos, but I try to say it every time. Because the signs aren't as important as the message. Look at that, we've got both, okay? So now we have the emperor and the empress, okay? So you've got the, the universe is conspiring to, for divine feminine to step into her power as well. And for the emperor to recognize that and for him to apologize um, to her, okay? So we have the divine masculine and the divine feminine here both and the karmic.
okay? And then we have the Three of Pentacles. Um, the universe is um, conspiring for people to, you know, build something. This is also about skilled work to focus, you know, focus on making things, you know, perfect and right and building something, okay? So there, there, you have to make the effort at the bottom right here. So, yeah, there, um, they're sending out messages, signs, uh, maybe through dreams, um, numbers, uh, little reminders, maybe people that look similar to you or someone's car just like you, things like that. But they're urging that this be built together, you know, that you build something together. Okay, so you have Five of Cups, the Emperor, the Empress, and the Three of Pentacles. So I feel in that there is an apology because he's facing his apology, he's urging, the universe is urging the emperor to come forward and apologize to the empress so that they can build um, something together and possibly ask for friends help, whether that be the universe or actual people, okay, involved. And let me see, we get another message here. Let me use the um, other cards. Let me use the Celtic Tarot for different messages. It almost came out. Tower. Okay, so the tower is about destruction. So the universe is um, conspiring for uh, to send down this tower to destroy anything that's false based on false beliefs things that are not serving you um, destruction of all that to build new to build the truth Knight of Wands, okay? This is about back and forth energy. This is also about travel and leaving residence. So I feel like this is the, the universe is urging um, the, I feel like since I was going to put it under the emperor, it's urging the emperor to leave a situation, um, leave a residence because it's false, okay? That is based on non-truth. It's not is based on lies let's just say that okay it's based on lies and they're urging him to do this quickly because the knight of wands is about quick action okay and they're, and for those it's not the emperor they're just urging you to leave situations that no longer serve you and i'm also picking that another tower is going to come if these uh people continue to live in these uh false beliefs And then you have equilibrium, which is temperance, which is angelic energy. So um, you could be dealing with Sagittarius, doesn't mean so. But the, the universe is conspiring balance, action, and emotion. So they're encouraging people to do both. Not only feel, but also do with action, you know, movement, do it. And then it's also under the Empress, so it could be encouraging her to have balanced action and emotions too, okay? Because um, she's very caring and loving and uh, motherly. So she could be out of balance a little bit, so they might be encouraging her to get more in balance to balance out this connection. And one more. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the universe is also conspiring um, chapter cycles to close in order for new things to come in. This is about number 10. And it's about um, endings, also about new beginnings. Um, this is about divine timing. And this is under the, the three uh, pinnacles. So it's urgent that it's time. It's time for them to do this. It's time for them to get rid of these false beliefs step into their power, apologize, leave bad situation, and do balance action um, and emotion, okay? So that's, that's I'm just going to leave, this was just a quick little reading uh, for you guys, 
Um, so I have a lot to do today, but I wanted to make sure I got something out for you. Okay, so I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, share. And if you're new watching the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. The information is below. And um, I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate each one of you uh, very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.